Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to make a brick pattern. I'll be doing a cutting board, but same pattern using only cherry and maple. You wanna cut your boards the same length for me, I'm gonna go 17 and a half for all my boards. Okay, so you wanna mark I did one and a half and another one and a half, one and a half. So we'll cut on our table saw. Okay now, so now that you got your boards all cut, they should all be one and a half width. So we're, we're gonna cut one more. We're gonna cut one of these boards, but we're gonna cut it to one inch. There, I got it marked. So now. I'll I'm gonna cut this one board. All right, now that you got your cherry already, I cut my last board for one inch and all the rest are an inch and a half. You can see. And now we'll cut some maple. We'll cut We'll need to cut these thin though. So we'll do we'll do a half inch right there. We'll go a half inch on these. So we'll need one, two, three, four, five. We'll need five strips of maple. Now that we got our maple boards all cut out the half inch and they're all the same length we're we'll be ready to glue with our pipe clamps so all right so now that I got my clamps all set up I will start gluing for glue I recommend tight bond too stuff works really nice I love it so now we're going to want to flip these. Okay, now that we have it all spread out, we're gonna put it together. Now make sure you have your one inch board at the end. So, put it 
put it all together. Okay, now that we have it all clamped up, you want them nice and tight. And till they till the glue squeezes out, kind of like that. And we'll once the glue dries, we're ready to start planing. So, I've got it all planed down, looks pretty nice, but why stop here when we can make it even look better? Now I'm back at the chop saw, I'm going to be cutting my st strips now, I'll be cutting two and a half, 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 I'm going to keep cutting two and a half. So I get all my strips. Now that we have our strips, we're ready to make our pattern now. See, I got them right here. You want to leave one and then flip one. Leave one. Now we're ready to glue again. Now that we got this nice pattern laid out. Okay, back at it again. Just back to the gluing. So now make sure you have your your pieces. This flip one and leave one just like that. So we're ready to glue now. Okay, now that we have our board all dried up, we're gonna be planing again. We got our board we can uh, I'm gonna trim the edges off it's not perfect but I'm gonna have to run it through the table saw to get it straight edge on it or you could also use a jointer but I, I don't have one so table saw always works you want to line up the blade as close as the fence as you can get and then run the sucker through all right so I took the edges off and we'll see here yeah, there we go we got our straight edge now we're ready to router the edge so we can get a nice round over I routered the ends so the edge is a nice round over. Nice. Now we're gonna put some oil on it to protect the cutting board. All right, now I'm ready to put some oil. I got some butcher block oil. I got it at Menards. And I've got this to put on over the butcher block oil. You can find this at Menards too. 
So I'll be using this to wipe it down. And make sure you lay some newspaper down too, wherever you're doing this. And just take a rag, cloth, And voila, we're, we're done. We got our finished product. And thanks for every, everybody watching and peace out. Start to feel confident and make a bunch of these. Why, why not go big and, and make a nice, something real nice, like a, like a ta nice table. All cherry brick pattern. Cherry maple. All right, I'm out. Peace. Peace out.